what's up reefers 915 man here hanging out with you guys today doing a little bit of joy riding with my buddy matt and then riding in the back is d you guys remember d he's still around and uh, we're just hanging out having a great time i know you guys are here for the reef related videos and we're gonna get there but i just want to show you some of the fun that we're having running around on some of these trails uh, these trails are not for mountain bikers or hikers but they are pretty legit for off-road vehicles so i got to hang out with matt and uh, man it was a lot of fun how many of you reefers have something like this a sport utility vehicle that goes off-road four-wheel drive can climb up anything let me know in the comments below check it out guys This was a lot of fun. Shout out to Matt uh, letting us hang out with him and ride around. We actually came to Las Cruces, New Mexico so I could pick up some frags because Matt is breaking down his reef tank. Now I did some videos of Matt uh, with his fish room, um, two videos of his display and uh, he is also the man that uh, made my acrylic frag tank for me for free. We traded some Zoas. So. Matt, definitely cool dude and definitely had a lot of fun hanging out with him. Seems like you know these trails pretty good. Yeah, we just got a lot of them so We skipped a couple things. I don't know when we get down, when we get down here. We'll get down. One day I'll have to get out here and uh, mountain bike with Matt. You can see his specialized mountain bike there. But this is a tank that's getting broken down. The reason why is because it is summer it's hot and if you didn't remember he had the fish room that was connected to the main display and that fish room is uh, having a few few issues with heat which is messing up the main display a little bit you know throwing the water temperatures off and things like that so i'm gonna help him out i'm gonna buy some frags from him and then uh once he's ready to set up a new tank uh, that's not going to be connected no no longer connected to the fish room um, then i'll get them back some of the frags of course another youtuber that uh, kind of had the same similar issues was daily reefer daily reefing uh, he's also a texas reefer uh, from uh, odessa midland area and i like to watch his videos but he had something similar so if you guys watch him drop it down in the comments below that you watch him if you don't go check him out because he does throw some pretty good videos and he also has a big tank now let's get on to the subject of matt uh he is getting a new tank he's gonna sell this uh he was selling his lights and uh of course the frags and the livestock um i don't know about the livestock but at least the frags uh running this tank on t5s and mac i believe max spec ethros for above and uh, this tank is look was looked a lot better before the heat issues um, you can see some bleaching of some SPS and things like that so that's why I came down here as soon as he told me and uh, I'm gonna pick up some of these sticks so he's looking at getting a SEA aquarium you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for that hopefully we can come back out here and record it later on uh, once it's established, you know, because he is going to definitely take his time with it and do things right. No, that's
The one that's in the very bad. That like Nelly looking one? Yeah, it's bad. That's all I want to have too. Everything that I got, D got pretty much, uh, I think he got maybe a little, one or two corals other that I didn't get. And the same thing from him. I got one or two pieces that he didn't get. I know I got some nice uh, pieces. I really didn't want uh, too much of the colony. I did want just a good, healthy chunk, chunky frag of uh, everything that he had. So as you can see, I can, I got quite a bit of stuff. And I'm going to turn on the uh, lights and show you how everything looks in the tank now with the orange gel filter, blue flashlight, and show you the colors popping themselves. Um, nice, nice colors. Change it up. And like I said, I did catch the SPS uh, bug. Uh, now that I'm starting to be a little bit successful with them, I'm not nowhere near SPS master like some of these guys and you guys. But I am a, a humble reefer just trying to get some, uh, maintain the colors and do that. Now I do want to show you some of the frags that I got from Corey. Uh, 67 Mustang aka Budman's Corals. They're also on this rack. I'm going to leave them here for a little bit. And then later on I'll mount them to the rock. And uh, just let them grow and take off. You know this next piece that I'm going to show you right here is a uh, Monopora. And I've always had my eye on it from the last time that I hung out with Matt. And uh, this thing is just sweet. Right now it's looking orange, but I'm going to get it so that it looks yellow. Uh, and I believe he called it a banana something. But uh, I could definitely see where he calls it banana because of the yellow. And uh, I can't wait for this thing to grow and just take off. And you can see like the other corals. Uh, this whole rack is just SPS. Um, stuff that I picked up today is like mainly in the front and in the center and the back is the corals that I got from uh, Mr. Budman's Coral. And speaking of uh, Corey, how many of you guys took advantage of his sales that he was having? Uh, let me know. I'd like to see what you guys got, what, hear what you guys got. And uh, you know, this is obviously what I got and I'm really happy with it. They're doing good so far. And uh, like I said, I am nowhere near being a SPS master like you guys. Just learning. Um, also, a quick little tank update. Uh, my fish are doing good. Uh, you remember that I had some uh, issues, tang aggression, like really, really bad tang aggression. And they're doing good. They're swimming together. The Scopus, I got a chocolate tang. Uh, my purple tang, a purple tang was acting like he was Jaws, just beating everybody up. But, uh, doing way better now so I'm really happy about that I picked up that green stylo um, I always wanted some green stylo big 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 chunk of uh, this Miami hurricane chalice I believe that's what it is and then I'm gonna show you the little piece that I have from my original Miami hurricane chalice um, it's the only thing that I had left over so when he was giving me some of this uh, I definitely went ahead and scooped them up and uh, speaking of corals and frags and all that good stuff because you know that's what it's all about for me is the corals and the frags. I do love the fish but you can, you know there's only so many fish that you can get before you uh, have them all and be, become a problem but I think the best corals that you can get from anywhere is from somebody else's tank uh, who grows them you know who they've faced all kinds of difficult things with their corals which makes them more hardy makes them more better for your reef tank and as you can see the fish are getting along they're not puffing up on each other as much they're not beating each other up they're openly swimming and uh, I'm really really happy about that the only thing that I have a complaint about is my anemone sometimes it just stretches up and hogs up this whole rock right here so I'm careful about mounting my uh, frags onto that rock until a later on date but it's been a lot of fun hanging out with you guys thanks for checking out this video you know we straight up did a lot today we went off-roading we did some fish stuff uh, and then we're gonna close it out with uh, a nice refreshing drink after four-wheel driving and uh, shout out to Matt once again there's D 
in the back and uh, you guys keep reefing like comment and subscribe might as, might as well subscribe since you're watching anyways guys take care